Hi, right, so hello YouTube. Alec Edward came back again. Welcome back to another uh, break video. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about my bracelet memories that I have and probably just kind of show you guys my bracelet. It's kind of similar to like what we did already. Um, in the other video, the one that was like 52 minutes long, but I promise it won't be as long. Because that video, it took me like all night to upload. So, these are just all... Well, I mean, you guys kind of know the layout of my bracelet by now. <laughs> um, Mickey bracelet. I remember when I saw this break, I was like, oh my god, yes, I have to get that. Cause I, I never in a thousand years thought that, like, I would ever find a rainbow-colored Mickey bracelet on online. This I got on Bakari along with uh, this one. And the uh, other Mickey bracelet, which is right there. This one was actually pretty special, too, because I, um, I, I saw this one online, like, many years ago when I, like, first started getting into collecting. And I couldn't... And when I went onto eBay, I couldn't get it. Either the seller was no longer on eBay, or somebody else bought this bracelet. But it's still a really cool bracelet. I, I do like the uh, these types of bracelets. So, yeah. Yoga bracelet. A lot of these bracelets make me think of... Uh, Kind of my, I, this kind of gets a little disability of food for it too. The Stanton Energy Center up there, Stanton Power Plant right there. With my, with my parents will be seeing that pretty soon. I won't be, but my parents will be, which sucks, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, a lot of these bracelets make me think of that plant. This, um, this one, along with the five other ones that I got, this took me like the longest to get because I am. Um, when I ordered them, it already got delivered, but I never got them. So I ordered them again. Same, same thing happened. I ordered them, and they never got delivered. So I finally sent an email out to the company about these. I uh, didn't hear back from them for like a month, and then they responded back. At, I guess they were like out of stock or whatnot. So they sent me a kick, which I do have that video up on the channel if you go to my... Uh, New rubber bracelet, my new bracelet sub playlist. Um, you'll see the uh, unboxing and review there. Um, here's one of my favorite magic bands. And this one's the uh, most expensive one, too. Um, but I, I really do like it. Really fun bracelet to be be with. Um, got some keyboard bracelets. I call these like party bracelets. Here's another one. I call some of these like the party bracelets, like, or even the ones that like make me feel like a party. <laughs> like the He War ones, the Disney ones, I guess you could count the WWE ones. Um, my favorite uh, Lady Gaga bracelet. I love Lady Gaga with my heart and soul. Um, we have Book Garden here. Penny bracelet with a San Francisco Mam Tussaud uh, penny in it. Which I'm gonna take that and put it in another penny bracelet when I get more. Um, because this, this bracelet is literally like way too small. Um, I have these Team B body ones. You go for kind of like party bracelet. Um, my favorite one got to be the uh, red one. I have the uh, green one in, in here somewhere, although I don't really wear it though. Because it's not really my favorite one. It would have been my favorite if, if it looked like my former friend Ivan. Oh, it's right here. And this band fell down there somewhere. Right, right there. Probably the Newark one. Some since Team Beach Body. I still have the Raptor for him. Um, here's the Newark one. This one's special because I uh, won this one in a. Um, a giveaway earlier this year, and I, I, and I won first place. Um, we have Alaska. I think we're the most recent break with my parents got, got me. Um, we're looking for a you guys saw in the video where I go to the Incarnation Church. I, am um, I've actually been going there for a year now, and this is where I got the bracelet. It was actually... 
very fun memory. It was a, uh, it was actually, I was actually at work the one day, and it started raining, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to Walgreens or not, because this was a Saturday afternoon. So I was, I was debating on if I wanted to go to Walgreens or not because of the red note day break. It turns out this year they never got them. This was from last year, but it turns out that Walgreens didn't actually get them in for whatever for whatever reason this year. So I went. I ended up deciding, you know, I'm gonna take a lift right over to my to the church, the Incarnation Church, and it was storming that day. So me and mom and my mom did not leave like right away. And so I was like, and I knew they had a gift shop there, so I was like, hey, mom, what, can we go look in the gift shop? She's like, yeah, we can go look in there. And so I was looking around, obviously, looking for a rubber bracelet, and this was the only one that they had in the store. It was, like, all the way in the back, and what stood out to me are these two uh, crosses. So like, I bought, I think it was, like, either $1 or $2 or something like that. Um, so, yeah. So, I have a wristband to represent the Incarnation Church. Let me get a patriotic bracelet, but this one might be my favorite, uh, Mickey, silhouette Mickey bracelet, besides the one that I have over here, despite being broken, whoop, actually, it would, would really suck, but then I ended up getting a replacement after that, so, not a completely, not a complete replacement, this ended up being the replacement one. Here's another penny bracelet. My parents got me. I did film this. I did film this bracelet on the channel too when they went out west and they came back with a bunch of bracelets. I forget how many, like maybe like eleven or twelve, something like that. Wait, or maybe I was nine. Let me think. I think they got me. Like, I don't know. You guys can go back in the video and look. Um, here's another favorite magic band. I have, like, top three favorites. That one's number one. This one's number two. And then my rainbow one. The pride one, wherever that is. That one goes for my favorite. And one of my favorite flat bracelets. Um, and then this one's stuff because I wanted to have a bracelet with my name on it. So I made a custom one on, on uh, Amazon. Back when they were cheap. <laughs> And so I got that was actually from my older my old channel, the Al Gettleson channel. Which I no longer have. Um, but we have this Toy Garuff race, so this one's special because I remember seeing this in um the actual store when Toy Garuff was around. <laughs> and I um and the so I asked them I asked about them to one of the employees who was wearing one and they said I think they're only for the employees and Couple of Vincent Claire, they said, yeah, they're only for the employees, so, um, I almost, I almost, my very last one, get to Toy Quick, I almost did get one. Oh, and here's my, uh, other one, my other favorite one. That one, that one's to represent the Stanton Energy Center, which I'll get into that memory right after this one. So, okay. So, I have this bracelet. Okay, I got three because, um, First I got this bracelet, and then I think it was a different color. It might have been the same color. I ordered a purple and blue Toy Quest bracelet, um, which ended up taking like two months to get, because there was a little mess up. And then he felt bad, so he sent me actually four more ones too. A green one, um, a red one, and two more glow-in-the-dark Toy Quest bracelets, so yeah. And this actually won a bracelet of the year for, uh, 2020. So, yeah. And this one's special, too, because I love Dinky Crew Line. And I always wanted a bracelet that had, like, the Dinky Crew Line logo on it. So, yeah, we got that one. Here's the key. Book Garden. This one's special because it was from one of my neighbors. Same neighbor who gave me, uh, these bracelets for Christmas. He always... He always gives me some of the coolest bracelets ever. That's why I appreciate it so much. We got Mickey bracelet. This one I bought. Along with uh, that one. I got like a lot of dinky Christmas pranking <laughs> that year. So let's now move on to this one. So I remember back in 2020 I was learning how to drive. And I really wanted to drive an i4. Again the stand power plant like is 
kind of a sentimental thing to me because I grew up with it. If it wasn't for that power plant, I don't think I'd be into the bracelets. Because a lot of these bracelets do make me think of it along with the Disney Cruise Line. So, yeah, so I was learning how to drive and I wanted to drive an I-4 to the power plant because I was craving a Vincent. And I wasn't doing well in one day. I was driving, so my dad didn't think I was ready, and he told me I wasn't ready to drive on Interstate 4. So, so I was bummed, but then I came up with the idea. If, and I told him too, how about if you drive to the power plant, and I'll get next to you, and I walk you drive. And he's like, yeah, we can do that. So I'm like, I was like, kind of surprised with that. I could work a few years back, I could try something similar. I want. I wanted to go Vic to the plant, but he he won't get bought, taking it. So, so I'm surprised that it worked. So, so after we saw the power plant, we uh, went over to Disney Springs for like lunch and whatnot. So, the, and we were actually there. I was actually there earlier that year, so I saw actually uh, this one and and uh, that one, but I couldn't find that one in the Disney Springs anywhere. But I did find this one. Well, not sure if I had enough for it or not. So I am. Um, Turns out I did have enough for it, so I bought it, because it was a bracelet I really wanted. And, and I also wanted a plain one, so I, I remember that this one, was, this color was, like, fairly new. And they did have that, so I, my, actually, I think my mom bought that one. Yeah, my mom did. Um, here's a bracelet from 2019. Operation Helping Hand, this one. When I uh, was uh, in the next Columbus period briefly, <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a bracelet I wanted to. I do have an actual next Columbus bracelet somewhere up here. Um, I, I don't know where it is right now. It might be down here. It might be in there. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna get to uh, these two. Because I do have uh, the US, blue USK one and the egg count of candy one somewhere. But these two I wore for like, me and my neighbors do happy hour. So I wore this one to happy hour for like a few times, for like probably a few months. And then kind of fell out of it. So these were like my happy hour bracelets. So I call them. <laughs> um, we're a Caribbean. You guys can have so many bracelets. Here was my um. I'm gonna I'm gonna break my rule on this one for now. Um, Katy Perry bracelet. Um, here's my favorite Pride bracelet pack. I actually have two, but this one was the better one. I always wanted the pack like saw it in Hot Topic, and I and I bought it. And then my number one favorite slap bracelet out of every slap bracelet I have, this one. This one I, I bought for Christmas, the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, and I can see a bunch of my bracelet fell on the ground over here. Hopefully none rolled underneath, and this one's special because this one makes me think of uh, Barney, the dinosaur, because it was my very first time meeting him. And so I wanted a uh, bracelet to represent him that time, so found this one in uh, Island Cove Adventure, so I, actually my mom bought it, my parents bought it for me, I ran out of money. Uh, yeah, I don't wear that one too, too much, but, and this bracelet I got right before my, uh, my, um, um, this bracelet I got right before my, uh, 2019 Disney Cruise, back when me and my friend Ivan were good out here, so yeah, here's one of the Happy Hour bracelets right there, and Claire's bracelet fell. And then here was my very, very first Lady Gaga bracelet at the time was my favorite one because I love the fame monster. Um, I can see there's a little pink on there. I don't know how that happened, but we have the cross there for the fame monster. Um, Psycho Kid versus Psycho Dad. I'm not really going to go through all the bracelets, but then here's all the ones in the drawer, too. Mason. Um, bring me the, the horizon. That's not really, it looks like a star, but it's not. More bracelets fell. Of course. We can't rescue. Now, even though I do have a lot of good memories of collecting these bracelets, I do have some bad memories. 
Um, we'll see you guys, I've showed you guys in the past some of the stories. This one, I, this bridge I bought for Christmas as well. For myself. Like, there's been times where I've been denied getting a bracelet. Like, I told you the story at the mall. Where that one company said, or that one, the one, people at the coin table said they weren't allowed to give them out. And then I also, at church, I had a fight over them with somebody else. Which is probably the worst place to get into a fight. Um, and then here's that pride bracelet. I don't like to use the word pride. Cause the word pride represents gay people. And and I do respect them, but I just don't like that word. Because you don't really, you don't have to be gay to like the rainbow. So that's why I don't really think all these bracelets. It's an appropriate word. Margaritaville. So yeah, I think, um, kitty bracelet. Okay, so, um, yeah. So I think that's really all I really wanted to share. I didn't want to make this video too, too long. Oh, ooh, what happened to this? Oh, it's gone clipped. This, this one's actually one of my favorite. Actually, you know, this one's, I keep on forgetting I have this one. This one was a birthday present to me back in tw 2019. This one's a matching band that I saw on the Disney Cruise in 2018. And I tried everything in my book to get one, and I couldn't take one home with me, unfortunately. So, my parents, I told my parents about it, and they bought me one for, they bought me one for my birthday. So, this ended up being bracelet of the year for 2019. Oh my god, literally. And then my favorite bracelet from uh, the Ripley, believe it or not, in uh, King Augustine. Um, then this bracelet my parents got me. They bought me. I'm kind of surprised that they did that. Um, I think... Let's see. You have a favorite. This one I found in school. Um, at, the t at one point, this one's my favorite. I think that's probably one of the more special Disney bracelets that I got. It says, uh, Disney Oceaneer Club and then Oceaneer Lab. I, we, I used to... What is up with all these... Oh, the irony if this one fell. What is up with all these bracelets just falling everywhere? <laughs> um, we have this bracelet. I used to be in the Oceaneer Lab at the time, and they didn't, um, have rubber bracelets at the time. This was, like, very early. This was, like, the really early 2000s. So, yeah, so I, so I saw a kid in the lobby, in some part of the ship I went, so I went down to the, okay, I went down to the club and asked them about them, the kid, he had to, like, win some games to get them, so I guess, and the kid didn't want his, so he gave me his, so, thank you, kid, if you're watching this, <laughs> I doubt it, but St. Thomas, the, the, uh, not my very first cruise, but back in the Alligator Open Channel, it was my first time filming on a cruise, so, uh, for YouTube, and then my favorite Kickle High School bracelet, and then there's just one more, maybe one more bracelet, I want to sell, a couple more, and we can, and I can upload this, uh, Dream Big, that was from one of my former high school teachers, and then this one's a fun memory, too, this one was the very first bracelet that my neighbor ever gave me, um, I might, maybe one of these days I'll go back and do, like, all the bracelets before the, before this channel of the bracelets that he actually gave me. Um, but we'll see. And the irony is, the funny thing was that when he had a Christmas bracelet, the funny thing was, I, I imagine it, it would have been, I imagine it being a white bracelet. Only I thought this part was going to be blue, not orange or red or whatever color that is. But that one is actually my fa one of my favorite Christmas bracelets besides the ones that I got uh, last year from uh, eBay. You guys remember what ones they were? They were the uh, red and white. Here we go. You won. They were these. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, here it is. Make a Columbus. Here's the actual bracelet I got from them. Uh, do you need to be my inaugural bracelet? Love that one. Uh, one of the more, these two are the most special ones my parents gave me. Ones that represent them the most. Uh, Prime Body Studio. And another one fell. Two, actually. Mm. 
2021 bracelet. Metropolitan Ministry bracelet found in the same spot along with another one. Beach Olivia. This one's special. <laughs> Two. Prime Body Studios. This one was memories too because this one the day i got this one was my very first time uh visiting the carol village park um puerto rico another gaga bracelet lint bracelet i wanted to sell this one i don't think oh my god <laughs> this one uh, this one was the upward bracelet you guys remember um i mainly wanted it for the for these six stars and the kid was willing to trade it with me so, no, actually, no, I take that back. I'm willing to trade the cake, and I really like this briefly. He got from Mika Church, apparently. Yeah, sorry about this. There's uh, some hairs in there. Until it broke, so I can no longer wear it, which sucks. But, you know what? Even though it's broken, it's still a part of my collection. Claire skinny brick. I don't wear those skinny bracelets too much. I been in a week. I think that's all I wanted to. I had a reunion with this bracelet last year. Um, I think that's all I. Oh, actually, you no. Know, one more bracelet I wanted to talk about. Um, bear in the big blue house. Penny bracelet. Well, I knew this penny existed, and and I knew the, and I had this uh, orange bracelet. Although I did order a uh, smaller. Orange bracelet, re re not realizing that it was too small for me to wear. So, I was like, oh no. So, I put one of my uh, St. Augustine pennies in that smaller one and put this one on the bigger orange one that I got. This bracelet I got from St. Augustine. Um, sorry about that. I have these just going all over the place. So, so I've been wearing, every time I go somewhere to work or wherever, this bracelet always comes with me. Because it's just the most special bracelet and I love bearing the big blue house. Got uh, back into it. I don't know if you can see my bear plus over here. I mean, he's like, you can't see him taking you laying down in a funny way, but that's him. Um, bracelet's down there. Yeah, I think that's really all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and then right here's my very first flat bracelet. So, yeah. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to share with you guys so, in this video. So, yeah, so I will, um, Upload this video, and I'm also looking forward to getting the uh, skate fr the skate frog uh, bracelets at some point. So yeah, so I'll definitely do an unboxing video of that. So yeah, we can with the ring. So yeah, so I'll just um upload this bracelet video for you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.